Today I'm going to show you how I created this cute little 4x4 gift card holder. It's in a Valentine's theme with a Cupid stamped on the front. It has some uh, border punching and it's decorated with some rhinestones. It closes with a ribbon tie and it opens up to reveal a gift card holder and then a cute little stamp sentiment that says P.S. I love you. Very quick and easy to make so let me show you how I did this. <coughs> to create this project I started with a piece of cardstock, red cardstock that measures 4 inches by 11 inches. This cardstock has been scored at 4 inches, 5 and 1 half inches, and 7 inches. So I also used a scrap of red cardstock and a punch. This happens to be the Square Flourish Punch by EK Success, and I punched out the same red color of cardstock. Uh, using this punch and then I ran that piece through my Sizzix Big Shop machine and put some texture on it. I used the perfect polka dots embossing folder but any embossing folder would do. You'll also need a piece of cardstock that measures one half inch by four I mean by three and three quarters inch one and one half inch by three and three quarters inch and then I used a um, border punch. This happens to be a Martha Stewart punch it's a uh, like a doily heart uh, kind of a motif. I don't exactly know what the name of this punch is. I've had it for quite a while, but I'm sure that you could find that on the internet if you were interested. But again, any uh, good quality border punch would work. And I punched along the long edge of that piece. You'll need a piece of decorator paper. I'll have to go and cut that. Uh, this piece of decorator paper measures three and three quarters by three and one quarter. And you can use any uh, paper that will go with your theme and then um, in order to uh, create the center of my a little medallion there I used a piece of one and a half by one and a half inch black paper and then I stamped two images from the PS I love you stamp set by Stampin' Up! and I'll show you that set. I stamped the Cupid image and then the sentiment PS I love you and I stamped both of those using uh, jet black um, stays on ink on white cardstock and what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually uh, punch out the sentiment PS I love you using something called the word window punch by Stampin' Up. Um, if you don't have this uh, stamp punch, uh, I mean this punch, um, you could try another shape and uh, I'm going to use a 1 and 3 8 inch square punch to punch out my cupid. Now if you don't have a 1 and 3 8 inch square punch you could easily cut this shape on a paper trimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, Cupid here and apply adhesive to the back of him and go ahead and center him in that one and a half by one and a half inch square of black paper. And then I applied some foam tape, uh, some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back and I'm going to go ahead and layer that on top of my uh, flourish square and this will go in the center of my card. So I'm just going to set that aside for now and I'm going to go ahead and uh, do my card base next. Uh, to begin with I'm going to go ahead and fold my card in half and use my bone folder to create a nice tight crease and then I'm going to fold each along each of the other score lines and again run my bone folder along the edges. And what you'll have when you look at it from the side is a shape that resembles a W. Then you're going to want to, um, and I, the, the easiest way to do it for me is to take one of these four inch sections and fold it back and then to just lay the other one flat. You'll have two long rectangular shapes. On one of those shapes, and it doesn't matter which one, you're going to want to go along both outside edges and then along the edge closest to the four inch section, not near the score line, uh, the other score line. So nearest the four inch section and along both. So it makes a U shape here. I'm going to apply, apply sticky strip and if you've never used sticky strip before it looks like this. It comes on a roll. It's very sticky and uh, very uh, strong adhesive and it has a, a plastic liner protecting the glue because it is uh, adhesive on both sides. So it's a double sided adhesive. So then you're going to go get my paper piercer here. Go ahead and remove your um, protective liners from your sticky strip.
and then you'll fold your fold your card up along the score lines and make sure you press everything tightly together and then your center section will look like this it'll be all adhered together and you're going to want to bring back that word window punch and the easiest way that I found to do this is just to make sure that paper is folded completely in half and then I'm going to put it into my word window punch not all the way then I'm going to punch out a section and then I'm going to actually move my word window over just a bit to extend my my hole and this will give me the place that I need in order to hold my gift card and I'll grab a gift card here and show you what that looks like there we go so that will hold my gift card perfectly and I'm going to take a break here real quick and I'm going to go and cut my designer paper and I'll come back and show you how to finish okay, this card. I have up. my designer paper here. It measures three, three and three quarters by three and one quarter. And along one of my three and three quarter inch edges, I'm going to run a bead of uh, adhesive. And then I'm going to bring that piece of border uh, that was punched and I'm going to actually apply that so that I have a nice even border along one edge. I'm going to go ahead and close my gift card holder and when it opens it will open like this. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my uh, papers to the front. Let me see and make sure my edges are nice and lined up. There we go. So I'm going to turn my designer paper over a piece of around the edges. Center that on my card. There we go. Now, I used a piece of 5 8 inch satin ribbon, and uh, this piece is not quite two feet long and so what I'm going to do is fold it in half and find the center and I want to slip this card in there so that that center is right it's even you know on my card then I'm going to move this top piece aside and I'm going to run a bead of adhesive along now you could put this straight in the middle of your card or more towards the top or the bottom I prefer it about one third of the way up from the bottom I do that and then I'm going to bring that medallion that I created back and I applied some dimensionals on the back of it I'm going to go ahead and pop that in the center of my card and the outside of my card is almost complete I'm going to center that up the only other thing I'm going to do is I have some self-adhesive uh, rhinestone trim and they are the perfect red color for this card so I am going to just scatter some on the front and what I'm doing is where the the lines intersect to create the diamond pattern on my card there are little dots and I am just kind of randomly picking some of those dots and applying the rhinestones and I think I'm going to do about maybe seven or eight on the entire card mm, and that looks like about enough so I'm going to go ahead and tie my ribbon here in a moment but first before I do that I want to take my PS I love you sentiment that I punched out on white and I want to grab a scrap of black cardstock and I'm actually going to use a punch I believe it's called the Modern Label Punch by Stampin' Up whoops that piece isn't large enough let me grab a larger piece I'm going to take a scrap of black and punch out that label shape apply some adhesive to the back of that label and I want it right here below my gift card and then I'm going to just apply my sentiment to that 
Make sure that's straight. And there we go. All I need to do is add my gift card and tie my ribbon. It's a quick and easy project. Um, I hope you enjoyed this project. If you have any questions, please email me at craftingforfun at gmail.com.